Diagnostic excellence in the digital age. What's up, Dirty Cones? Um, so, bear me out on this and then I'll get the way I want to talk about because I think this is funny. And, uh, <clears throat> alright, so think back to have you seen the James Franco roast? It's a very good. Man, somebody must have been loved. Uh, there's a funeral. I have not seen a funeral procession this long in a while, so um, it's good to be loved. I think that's that's important. A lot of people aren't there when you're uh, born, but uh, probably the more people you can have it there at the end, it's called a good sign, right? <laughs> so uh, bear me out. All right, roast to James Franco, hilarious. Uh, in the end, you know, I mean, they they talked a lot of shit. Not as much crap as I think they said to Bieber. Which, uh, I thought he was a really good sport and took it. And if you, if you want to cry, you laugh so hard. Listen to the roast of Justin Bieber. But the, uh, um, <laughs> oh man. But the, uh, roast of Justin Bieber, amazing. All right, so James Franco, at the end, he gets up and he says, you know, this is, I'm an artist, you know, uh, this is, you know, he signs it and he says that this 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 whole night has been a uh, performance art uh, of satire on there, you know, because they talk so. I mean, they talk so crap about his movie role picking and his his squint and everything. And I mean, from freaks and geeks to everything, so it was pretty fine. But all right, so think of his life or his event as satire. All right, now apply that to our current global uh, presidential kind of race going on and it's like who can who can outdo who all right you know what I'm gonna put out and and this is where Deadpool ties in and, and kind of watched Deadpool the other day cemented this for me um, so Deadpool he and uh, oh lovely beautiful you know woman also from Gotham uh, I can't think of her name right now. Uh, she and him are uh, comparing each other and saying, "Oh yeah, all right, my my life was this bad. Uh, you know, cigarettes were uh, put out on me as a child, and you know." And then he says, "Is there any other way to put out a cigarette?" And then they just keep on going, and uh, we didn't even have a house, and she's like. I lived in a box, and he's like, you had a box? I mean, so, look at our two presidential candidates. I'm going to do this. All right, well, I'm going to say bad things about these people. I'm going to alienate these people. All right, I'm going to lie about this. Oh, I'm going to do this. So, back and forth, they're like, who can be worse? And, uh, and then which ultimately leads to uh, Donald Trump as an insider working for Hillary Clinton so that way she can be the president and uh, because they're friends and it's all money wins <laughs> and that's your conspiracy theory for the day <laughs> I was uh, 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 what was that that cable commercial that used to be if you don't have cable you'll end up like this and then you'll get this and then you'll be eaten by dogs, you know, in a ditch, and, uh, so I just take it to that, all right, and then, and then, and, uh, and then is actually the first rule of, um, uh, oh, what is that, uh, I heard it from Greg Proops the other day, man, I am, my memory's crap, too many underwaters, um, Greg Proops, uh, not stand up. All right. Anyway, so and then. So when if a person says something, you say and then, and then, and <laughs> and you always agree with what they say. So you just keep building on what they've said or done. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, so uh, I hope, hope you got a laugh out of that. So back to so yesterday, I came up with you know return to the beginning. And, um, and I, there was 
it was longer than it came out, but uh, for whatever reason, it uh, did not uh, record. So uh, I was talking about underwaters. Yeah, a, you know, underwater. Well, not you, but the first thing you really you do is in underwater, and in the place that you need to be comfortable with. It's like you come to your house and you look on the surface, and you're like, all right, it's got a nice roof, and it's like, but what's the inside? The underwater is your inside your house, your tour, seeing where you're gonna be, and then saying, all right, I'm good. This is home. This is my home. I know what's below it. I know what's above it. There's water at the bottom of the ocean. Ta-da. So um, when you're pushing off the wall, or if you don't have a wall, it doesn't matter. There are no walls in the ocean, so, uh, which to me means if you have a, a plus, something's gonna help you, use it. If you don't have it, then you don't have it. But if you have it, use all available resources. So if there's a wall, use it. If not, skip it. So, but everything is glide. It, it's uh, economy of motion. It's right. So it's is my arm like this? Is my arm like this? Is my arm like this? Are my fingers like this? Tweak it and 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 look and go. All right, arms together, finger boom. You know, it's this um, and and make yourself hydrodynamic. And it'll help you. And so that's A for underwater. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, because we count. Um, the, there was a thing about Sesame Street. They're, they're being sponsored by HBO now. So I thought that was cool. So they, they get it put out first on HBO, and then PBS can put it out. But, I mean, you need Sesame Street. Kids need some kind of something to look at rather than just, you know... Oh, any of the new cartoons they got going on these days. They're not like the old days, man. Scooby-Doo and uh, Voltron. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, but my kids, uh, they don't like Voltron. I don't like the new one. The old one was good, but this new one's kind of hokey. But, all right, so, yeah, I watch cartoons with my kids. Um, so, that's it, Dirty Cones. Hope everything's good for you guys. Thanks for listening, and... Uh, Trent Hart.